Welcome, everyone, to the Sea of Stars, and welcome to Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. We are starting today with Sea of Stars, and I hope you are as excited as I am to start playing what I have heard to be one of the best games, one of the best games that we've gotten in recent years for us turn-based fans, which, by the way, if you're not a turn-based fan, what the f Let's go ahead. Let's start a new game. Right out of the gate, my friend, Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. We have Zael, the Sun Warrior here, a blade dancer born on the summer solstice, walks the path of the guardian god Solon, or Valerie, a monk born on the winter solstice, and walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. Now, I've actually only played the demo, so for me, this is going to be a blind playthrough, which is not normally something that I do, but y'all, I'm so excited. I ha It has to be done. It has to be done. It has two main characters. We'll select the one that will lead the party. It can be changed later. It doesn't affect the story. So we are going to go with Zale. Uh, just because he was born in the summer, so was I. Oh my god, the loading sprites, y'all. Welcome to the Great Archives. Welcome to the Great Archives, adventurer. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait, to be sure. I am the archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. Hmm. But perhaps you knew that already. After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. My musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mist of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. So, walk with me tonight, and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism. One that I believe will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and all their subtle variations, but I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that is yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Isle, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully-fledged Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. <laughs> Oh my, <laughs> just like, y'all, I can't. This game is stunningly beautiful. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So, the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves, for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in times of greatest need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. 
Time for some scouting. Oh no! I'm coming through! Just like that, they are immediately throwing us into combat as if they know, like, hey, that's the way to go. So, the cool thing, my friends, about Sea of Stars here is that, like our beloved classics of old, Super Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger, whatever, we actually, Legend of Dragoon, for instance, we actually have timed attacks that will allow us to do a little bit extra every time we attack. So, if we time it right, we'll be able to be able to do more damage we'll be able to and also to uh, reduce the amount of damage that we take right there we're able to see that this uh, uh, this wanderer here that we're fighting has uh we can actually it's it's channeling a super strong attack right now if we hit it with moon power which we don't have we can actually deplete part of its bar but since we don't have that we can at least deplete the one that you see that is uh, slashing damage or sword damage. So let's go ahead and do that. And we were able to take him out, no problem. Brew gobs, wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Well, I'm guessing we can't go the way Valerie went. The engraving is worn out, but it definitely mentions a rite of passage for children of the solstice. Elder Mist. Valerie? Valerie's got this side covered. I should head to the right. Well, you never know. I also love how you could see that enemy was here the whole time. Uh, and you'll also be able to see that we can climb and jump things. Yup. That's just the way... That's the way the cookie crumbles here. Also, I have noticed playing the demo that a lot of times when you see, like, these outcroppings and stuff like that, there can actually be, uh, <laughs> hidden rooms and treasures and stuff like that. So, um, big fan. Big fan. Oh, what the... You look so cool. What are you? Are you going to fight? I don't know. Oh, it's like a mountain ram goat thing. I like it. I like it a lot. Look at how beautiful already, y'all. And here we go. This is a new enemy, actually. One that I did not fight in the demo. Rochevra. Unfortunately, I uh, I missed that. Ouch. Tough one, huh? Let's try this. And we have skills. We're going to use Sunball. This is a solar magic projectile that splashes to nearby targets. We'll hold X for power. Check out my extra large spirit bomb. Zale, found anything? Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Mmm. Delicious. And we can unroll a rope ladder so we can get back down. Nice. Looks like we were a little unsuccessful in our side, but hey. If Val oh, there's another ladder up here, too. Guess we'll be coming back. Wow. See, I told you we'd all get to explore the left-hand side. There's a little bird there. Oh, my bird. Look at how, just like, holy smokes, y'all. Absolutely stunningly beautiful game. Valerie, your side was so much cooler. What? She was cruising through her side. See, it's like, I feel like there's something under there, but... What? All right, hopping up. Look at the little slug dinosaur crystal thing here. Love the way combat is initiated as well. This is a loose slug. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Ow. And we have another one. It wants us to use blunt damage and slashing damage, but we only have blunt or slashing, so we'll pop that. And then hopefully, nice. We don't have to worry about it hitting us with its super powerful attack. So super curious, y'all that are watching this. Let me know in the comments below. Have you seen Sea of Stars at all, or is this like a surprise release, or is this something you've been looking forward to for like what two years now, uh, <laughs> like some of us? Oh, another goat. Another goat guy. Absolutely just a really beautiful, really beautiful game. Huh. 
<laughs> Doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. <laughs> to be fair, you did learn. Oh, yeah, that one only took once. Ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting in trouble. And making mistakes. Hmm. I'm sorry, Valerie. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright. And that we're still friends. Hmm. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, Garl. Ten years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. Oh my god, they're so little. Look at them. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? <gasps> You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent and it's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way. Sure is, and it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa. I want to see it too. My friends, if you're recognizing that the music in this game is just unbelievable, that's Yashinori Mitsuda, the same composer that did Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, plenty others. It's the bell. Berlina and Burgraves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Oh, cute. We have like a little party. Save points are right here, by the way. Cool books. Kind of reminds me of the old days with having uh, the Moogles in Final Fantasy IX like pull out a book for you to... You know what I mean? We have the fire here. I doubt we'll be able to get the items, so let's see if we can catch up. Look at the lighting effects, too, y'all. The sparkles in the... Oh, beautiful. Looks like maybe we can go into this building. Hi. Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? Uh, well, no, because we just... Hi, we're up here now. No, okay. Like, look at the fly... Oh, so beautiful. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I'm reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. Cool. <laughs> Just, I don't know. He's like, yeah, man. Food, dude. Look at this place. Holy smokes. Uh, uh, ominous. I hope you're not getting into trouble again. No, I'm good. Wow. Wow. Well, even as kids, we could right away climb up here. I feel like we'll probably end up coming here later. Just because this seems like a very large area to explore uh, for just like a little flashback thing, right? Hey, wait. Y'all, I did not know they had animation like that in this game. What? There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Whoa. 
Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valerie? You been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here then. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. That was awesome, Zale. You did it. Solstice Warriors. If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Hmm. Right away, Headmaster. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Let's go, Brugra Brugaves. Bruga Brugaves. Hey, the full moon is out. Hmm? He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work, and Moraine will be so impressed he'll take you two in for training right away, and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. All right, let's go. I like Garl. What a cutie patootie he is. He's like, he's like, I just want to hang out with you guys. I know you wanted to catch Erlina in Brugavs, but isn't it starting to get late? Bedtime soon, okay? You're not my dad. Oh, there's somebody sleeping in the bed, too. Hello. Oh, he, he's just Z and me. Is that it? That's it. I just, I doubt there's any, like, items or anything you can get here, because it's a flashback. That would be kind of weird, right? Remember, young ones, the Celestial Willow was a gift from the Great Eagle. Always treat it with respect. This thing? I mean, that does look really cool. Oh, we are totally going to be able to come to this island. Right? We're experiencing the game together for the first time, y'all. So, so, it'll be... It'll be an adventure. I'm guessing that's where we gotta go. Let's do it. I am obsessed with the map. Ah, oh, so good. I wonder, probably no encounters either here. Hopefully. No menus yet. Of course, we're not going to be able to play this game without listening to some of these tracks every so often, so... Absolutely stunning. Ah, so good. Let's head to the Forbidden Cavern. They give us another save point right outside, but I think we'll just see if we can use the rune. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. Nom, 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 nom. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. Whoa. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from the Celestial Willow. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. <laughs> All right, how do I do this? Maybe like Erlina showed me. Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valerie. I 
knew it! It worked? I, I, I did it. I finally did it! So, uh, what now? Do, do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter. It can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go. Here we go. First cave is little younglings here. Just the everything. Oh my gosh. The pixels they've just, it's just so beautiful. There's monsters over there. Let's hide. I thought Evermist Island was safe. Guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Oh, no. Watch out. There's another one. This is bad. We're surrounded. Uh, maybe try to use your powers. We're not ready for this. We're not ready for slugs. I, I don't, I don't know. Just try. Okay, let me focus. Watch out. It's preparing something. Come on, come on. Sail, watch out. No, girl, what? Girl, my eye. It really hurts. I, I can't see. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. So it was you. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Hmm. Headmaster, Garl needs help. It feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid. What Garl needs is to not concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey. Be thankful that the only cause of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. So, that was 10 years ago? Did they stop being friends right after that? Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can't he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like, like a week? Ah, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice Warriors. Years? No way. But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Oh. Well. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true Solstice Warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow. Though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. I 
love their like pose. They were like, oh shoot, this thing's moving. <laughs> Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance, like when I opened the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. Shows great promise that you were able to feel it before. And Zale too, from what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. This is probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors, of the magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it is meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Uh... Sewing? That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task, nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places, and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first, you must learn of your duties, train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You'll then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing? I understand is not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing? That will be all for today. You will be spending a lot of time sewing in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you are ready. Good night, Master Sewers. I love the sewing thing and like him just taking it so seriously. Like you you will sew. You you must sew. Very cool to see some of the lore so far. And also, you can kind of feel the humor in the writing, too, which just makes me very happy. Look at... that's So that's the island below us. That is so cool. Wow. This is the training room. So he just... So the headmaster has... Headmaster just... A rack filled with wooden training weapons. Just, like, takes kids from... <laughs> from local neighborhoods and is like, hey, you're gonna become a solstice warrior. Oh, there you are. Moraine finally decided that you were ready. Uh, sort of. Nothing up there? Okay. Well, let's check out the other side then. The dormitories where we need to pick, <laughs> we need to pick beds apparently that are suited to our innate magic. There is up here his headmaster thing, but we can't get in because it's locked. Doesn't look like we can do anything with the books either. I remember when Erlina and Burgraves were your age. Oh, they wouldn't stop writing. Ah, I feel old now. Uh, yeah, as you should. All right, so this is the dormitory side. Oh, do you see the, look at that. Oh, the willow in the... You can kind of see... Yes! The celestial willow in the back there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like, they don't need to do that either, you know what I mean? But they did, and it looks great. Sewing basic. <laughs> the one book we can click on is Sewing Basics. Oh, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Wow. Alright, so we can have another save point here if we so choose. What if we choose the wrong bed? Just a bunch of old books. 
Just a bunch of... Just a bunch of... The different... So, she'll be sitting at that table. Zale will be sitting at that table. We don't sit at the same table because we're, you know... The clock looked like it was going to be something. So, I'm guessing this one is... This side is fire? Go to sleep? Not yet. Let's see what we can find. I'm assuming... I wonder how long the... Their... Like... How long do we play their training thing? Look at the sewing sta Oh my gosh, come on. Yep, and this looks like it's her side. I think we uh, probably just choose Zales. I wonder, you know what? Let's find out something together. What if we choose the side that's not ours? I think this bed is for me. Let's find your, oh, okay, well, never mind. I thought maybe like, We'd get yelled at. Also, look at the trees moving. Why is it windy in here? What's going on? I guess we are in the sky. We're going to sleep. The next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Brugre games, Brugaves. So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Berlina and I are leaving tomorrow. The headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Zale received a training sword and Valerie receives a training staff. All right, let's get to work. We're just running around. <sighs> you got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Never. Holy shit, she's so fast. Come on, Zale, keep up. I I can do this. That's actually a really good idea for training. Oh, those push-ups are all wrong, Zale. All wrong. 99. 100. That's it for today. You did great. Oh, that was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Arlena will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. Arlena's ready to see you. She's waiting just outside of the academy's entrance. Bye. Nice to, nice to train with you, friend. Is Arlena down here? I mean, this is the entrance. Oh, there you are, ready to learn magic. It should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me, I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay, just breathe slowly. I think she's a Garlean. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. She's like a mix between Alex Raza and a Garlean. If your timing is true, it will manifest on three. One, two, three! I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and Erlina. Hmm. Since you are done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic, I would provide the briefing for your next assignment. As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. <laughs> and making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the varying stars sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. I wonder why, because you were sewing. 
What are you doing? I'll just walk around a bit. I'll just, I'm just, wa I'm just chilling. I bet you. I feel like Erlina, Erlina's like, dude, I don't want to train for the rest of my life like he was making us. Like we're, we're, we have, we have our own lives, darn it, you know? Very, very curious uh, if that's going to end up manifesting as anything that's going to turn into anything. Maybe Erlina's the Fleshmancer. Maybe the archiv ar or the archivist from the very beginning is. You keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlina. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Zale and Valerie were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Brugovs! Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But let's just go, Brugavs. Brugaves, Brugaves. And so they trained, and they sewed for days, and then for months. Faster now. Oh yeah, training montage. Focus and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, uh, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dweller's weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe. We cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Zael. What happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moyara? be all for today. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Zale, wake up! Valerie, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out! Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I feel like this is this might go a little sideways, y'all. You heard a voice from all the way over there? Damn. This way? Hey, look. Oh, it smells good. There's a note. Dear Zale and Valerie, if you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you liked. Aww. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training's going well. Oops, now the platform's almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I'll try to chop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try a visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time, 
Garl. Garl's the best. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Oh. Thanks, Garl. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least. After what happened in the Forbidden Cavern, I... Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. <laughs> You're probably right. We can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen. We just have to keep on training hard. And eating cookies. And sewing. And so they trained and they sewed for years. And then, they trained, and they sewed some more. Until one day... Sail! That's the one! I can feel it too! Hold on. All right, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. Ah, yeah, so that explains why they both have like the little cloths on them. At first I thought those were tails and I was like, when did they get tails, that's dope. All right, now it looks like we're, we're ourselves. We have a menu now. See, now I'm like, wait a minute. Do they have, do they have items for us? Surely, maybe, possibly. That is the first time we've been able to look at the menu. There is someone here now, hello. Hey, so you're nearing the end of your training. Are you excited? I am, yes! Sewing basics. Zale's just like, dude, I'm good. Like, I know how to sew. We're, we're fine. All right, doesn't look like there's anything around here that we can get. We do have a save point, but uh, I think we're okay for now. I don't think we're at any risk. I say that. That's gonna come to bite me in the butt real soon. Ah, I love the, the details. Oh my gosh. Well, there's Headmaster Moraine. Looks like there's another villager here. I'm descended from a long line of lucky ones who get to serve directly inside of the academy. Yes, so I am. Let's see if there's anybody in the trading ring before we potentially leave here forever. Who knows? I wouldn't be shocked if there is like a item, like a missable item or something that you can get in this section. Uh so if somebody, if anybody ends up seeing something like that, let me know. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why, yes. The tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. Oh my gosh, look who it is. My, you've both gotten grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Erlina and Burgraves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them that it will be time for your final test. Naturally, we get a nice little thing here. Check in with them, then it'll be time for your final test. Erlina, ready to go through the basics of magic? Uh, sure. Normally don't do tutorials, but hey. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you could try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valerie can do blunt damage, and Zale has slicing. Let's see how you break this one. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we can use we can use Valerie, we can use Zale. So what we do is we attack. So that took out one of the slicing, which made her the spell she's casting. Now the power of it is only 88%. And we'll go ahead and smack her with a staff. That took away one of the blunts. Slash. And one more. Boom. Just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for sun, 
Valerie for Moon. So we have Sunball. Let's go ahead and do that. We can hold it for more power and extra large spirit bomb. And then she also has her Moonerang, which actually is super fun because we can bounce it off of herself. So she hits. So cool. Well done. Now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack now. So the way that we get our MP back is we attack. You can see that purple three that appeared on Zale. That's the MP. Do you feel that? You just got some MP back for by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds, for a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment. Keep on varying your actions and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking especially, build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. They don't cost MP, and they're lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. All right, we got Solstice Strike, a dual attack. Each of them will regenerate MP. Let's see. Nice. Yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Nice. Let's see what Brugavs has for us. Want to review combat basics? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. We can cycle through people. Party members can use their turn in the order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. When all of your party members are on cooldown, the round resets and they all become available again. So just by using the D-pad, we're able to switch pretty easily. Probably don't need this one. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal, and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press X as the hit connects to increase damage. Pretty sure that worked. Good. Let's see that one more time. Nice. Ouch. Yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. And remember to think of time hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. Don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying, and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks, let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. Press X as the hit connects. Oh, I timed it wrong. That was too soon. Stay focused. Impress as the hit connects. Okay, that was too late. <laughs> oh, he helps you if you mess up. Good, let's see that one more time. There we go. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. Don't be too hard on yourself. No one's expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a timed block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing. What? When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. They'll get back up on their own at 50% 50 50 HP once all the KO stars are gone. One KO star is removed at the end of each round. The more you fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game. Oh, that's super cool. Fight and survive until Valerie returns. Whoa, dope. And then we just... I didn't realize that it did that in the demo. I wonder if it did. And there you have it. 
Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. That's a really cool mechanic. Moraine will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Hmm. No need. All right, let's see what Moraine's got for us. Are you ready for the final test then? Then let us begin. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. We'll now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Are we getting married? I'm just kidding, it's a joke. Then speak them now. You go first, Zale. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> so that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I chose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, Valerie. I did it, now it's your turn. <clears throat> so that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I chose the staff, for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today, you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please, step aside. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep your health full. And we get three tomato clubs. Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Zale. Let's just go for it. Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose, take the leap. Let's do it! What? Oh. Well, that's cool. Oh my god, the music. Oh my god. No one saw that. The controller's not low. Stop it. items. We'll go ahead and flip this. Looks like we'll be able to jump over. There are a bunch of puzzles. Every dungeon, from what I've seen, has puzzles of some kind, at least from the demo, which is awesome because these puzzles feel really cool. So we'll put the stone in there, which will open the way to two enemies. Looks like we're going to hop down and see if we can take care of them. We're able to get a little bit of a thing there. We're gonna go ahead and sunball here because by doing that, it will actually splash damage onto the other target as well, as long as they're near each other, so. And just like that, we destroyed both of them. 16 experience points. Oh my gosh, here we go, y'all. The journey is officially starting. Well, I mean, it already officially started because the video is already going, but like, listen, it's still pretty cool. Hey, that reminds me, before we finish, if you are liking this series and you want me to continue, please, please, please let me know in the comments below. Likes, all of that stuff sincerely helps me out. And I hope that we get to enjoy this game together. Me, you, whoever else wants to join, let's do it. Oh my God, look at it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful game. I, I really do think, I know we just started, but I, I do think this game is... This game is going to be something special, y'all. I can, I, I, if you, if you can't already tell, based off of the first hour or so, I'm very excited. We get another ornate stone and more enemies. See if we can take them out. So unfortunately, looks like we are out of MP, but our girl is not. So she can actually smash enemies in an arc here with her attack crescent arc, or we can moonerang. Uh, moonerang. I believe there's actually also a trophy for moonerang. So why don't we go ahead and use that? Oh, well, didn't do that well, but. I need to, like, work on my timings here. All right, we'll go ahead and attack. 
Easy peasy. Beautiful. You can like kind of see the flash when you're supposed to attack. 24 experience points, already almost getting a new level up here. I'm excited about the level of, I don't want to say difficulty, but there's, it definitely doesn't feel like a, like you can't just like turn your brain off and just kind of not pay attention to what you're doing, which is what, one of the things that I love about Legend of Dragoon as well, is when you're fighting, you typically have to pay attention, no matter what, because you just want to do better with additions. Super Mario RPG felt the same way. They haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try and explain? You've seen how strong they are. Word will be a walk in the park. <sighs> Let's see them off then. Word. Looks like we have to make our way through the Forbidden Cavern again. This time, hopefully, without Garl losing an eye. Word. Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves. And there we go. We got a boss fight. Shuffle weakness physical. All right, so he's weak to physical right now, which is great. That means we can do some damage with that. Uh, we do have a healing light ability from our boy Zale here, as well, obviously, as Sunball. So let's go ahead and attack. Yeah, vulnerable. We have Crescent Arc, which we're not going to use yet. There's no real need for that. We're going to go ahead and attack, even though we do have full MP. Again, they are weak to... Woo. All right, weak to Sun now. So, we'll... oh, that is awesome. That's so cool. So, obviously, we're going to Sunball it up. I'm, it's so hard not to say check out my extra large spirit bomb every time we every time we do that So unfortunately she obviously does not have any uh, attacks with Sun But we can still do some damage Now he's weak to moon such a cool looking attack. Let's go ahead and moonerang here Not that great. And back to physical again, which is actually really neat that they do it this way, because that gives us time to rebuild our MP. Oh, beautiful. And also, now we need to hit with blunt damage. Or not, because I believe we have just taken down our first boss fight. Word is down, and we leveled up. Oh, yeah! Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at the extra little sun effect on the bottom there for our boy Zale. You're able to see that uh, we do get attribute bonuses when we level up, just, just by leveling up. But then we get to pick a bonus stat that we want to put that into, which seems so cool to me. My friends, we're actually going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with mana points, I think, here, actually, because I do feel like... Our mana is pretty important. You know what? Never mind. Let's do it. Let's physical attack it up, baby. Then our girl Valerie also getting another level up. Hers being a little different. She has another mana point. She has magic defense or she gets eight hit points. We're actually going to go. Uh, I think we're going to do some magic defense here, y'all, because she doesn't have any. Like she has very low. So let's make sure that she can that she can do some. She can withstand some magic hits. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. Word up! Very cool. I am very curious to see, like, what are the optimal stats that you want to put in? Is it is it random what choices you get when you level up? Guess we'll find out. Congratulations, Sail and Valerie. You have learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. Ha! Huh. We did it! 
in record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. Huh? But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. Oh, so cute. Where's Garl? It is on a special days, such as the one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Garl? Notice this celestial willow now in the daytime appears quite differently. I don't see him. Many years ago, Zale and Valerie were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember! Grand was so happy to get to meet two more before she passed. I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of the solstice before. Zale and Valerie, step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the Solstice Warriors. This parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hurrah! To the gates! What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. Guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting the Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Zale, Valerie, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. Go now, through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the mountain trail, to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and you shall then enter the world as true Solstice Warriors. May Luana's might protect you! May Solid's light guide you! Here. This should keep you fed for a little bit. Ah, three more tomato clubs. And if your adventure feels a little tough, you could take a look at these. We get an amulet of storytelling and a sequent flare. You just received your first two relics. Find them in the relic section of the game menu. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or are looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. There's bound to be more to find. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will help keep you fed and well equipped. Now, wherever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training, for a dire cleansing awaits us. I still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but I'll find a way. Safe journeys, and may you cleanse this world. May you cleanse this world! Just like that, we're back on the world map. We do have our relics here. Uh, this is the one that I actually prefer. This doesn't do anything, uh, really. It just allows you to s just, you, you have a clear confirmation that you did the correct timing. So successfully timing hits and blocks causes a star, star flare to fly out of your character for a clear as day confirmation. I just like that, I prefer it. It doesn't make the game easier or harder or anything like that. I just wanna know if I did it or not. This, however, absolutely does. Uh, this amulet of storytelling, max HP plus 100% and auto heal after combat. So you can use these. These are accessibility options that are built into the game that I think is absolutely amazing. So if you, if the game, if you, if you just want to cruise, you want to see the story and you're enjoying the combat, 
and you just you don't you know you don't want to you don't want to stress too hard boom amulet of storytelling we're not going to use that but it is there we also can make a camp and prepare snacks we have the order of our heroes here we have our skills our items uh we can check out what type of combos we have we can equip stuff even though we don't have anything right now uh and then you'll actually see this last well you know what we'll talk about it when we get there so let's go ahead and a bit longer of an episode for our first episode today, friends. Hope that's okay. Can't go back now. We have to meet the Elder Mist. Let's go ahead and see if we can pop a camp real quick. Upon popping the camp, we'll see. Valerie, I wish we could go back for Garl. And it is kind of cool to do this, so we can also swap characters. Want me to take the lead? Sure. And now we can talk to Zale, who's just doing push-ups forever. Shame we didn't get to see Garl before leaving. And we can swap again, or we can save. We can keep it as Valerie. We can go up to the campfire. It feels cozy and warm. We can't cook anything yet, but we could rest there. We also have a save point here as well, which, you know, I feel like we've done the tutorial. Let's go ahead and let's pop another save. We're an hour into the game. We're level two. We fought our first boss, and we're going to head into the Forbidden Cavern, where we will be able to continue our journey in the next episode. Hey, thank you all so much for watching Sea of Stars. I hope you enjoyed our first episode. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Uh, I've been looking forward to this game for a very long time, and I'm very excited to hopefully... Uh, uh, watch it with you. We'll be premiering new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, keep that in mind. 2 p.m. Eastern, we'll be doing new episodes Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Might even try to do a little bit more than that, but we'll be doing premieres. So, huge shout out to those of you in the premieres watching these. An even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash online. Could not do this without you. And also, feel free to come check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash online, where we are playing just so many RPGs. Final Fantasy XIV right now, going through the MSQ. We have Baldur's Gate coming up as soon as it comes over to PlayStation. And uh, I just, hey, I really appreciate you watching this. Thank you so much. Never give up. Never surrender. Bye, everyone.